Welcome in, everybody, to the Charlotte Dynasty, coming off a start to this 2026 season that was exciting, but not quite as good as it could have been. We took on Georgia and Clemson and came close. Well, Georgia pulled away from us in the end, but Clemson, we... uh, we hung in against them, made it close. But now the goal, what was that, week five? They don't make it very easy to just look at your own schedule here. But anyway, you, y'all were watching. Either way, we are heading into our conference play, and I kind of think we have a chance to finish like 10-2 and two and really start to pick things up here in our third season. But... What's really exciting is going to be the, the commit we got in DeMarco Burks, is it, I believe, was the guy? Yes, a 98-speed quarterback. Absolute fire. Can't wait to get him out there on the field next year. Um, we're going to be doing a lot of simming here to get to next season. But I do want to do play the moments because I know we have some recruits coming in the next couple of weeks. But let's take a look at our recruiting and uh, make sure we're staying on top of everything. So unfortunately, this guy still wants to come to us, this three-star center. He still wants to come to us, but that playing style is not quite there. And that's his deal breaker. So hopefully we can, I guess, run the ball a little bit more and uh, get that to open up. But let's put the points that we do have into ensuring that we can get the guys on our board currently. Um, in pretty good shape at the top there. This guy's going to be tight. Do we have to get a visit scheduled? Not yet. Probably ramp things up a little bit on this D tackle. We'll go 40 points for now. It's a three-star gem corner, Kevin Locke. Let's get him scheduled and add 15 points on him as well. Could probably honestly hard hard se uh, hard sell taco this dude. With, uh, oh, we don't have enough points. Hold on. I'm just going to take him off of this Juco for a week. We're going to go hard sell down. There we go. Should be pretty effective. Just make sure we're in good shape with the rest of these. Looking pretty good. All right. So let's just play a little bit against Navy. We maybe could just do like opening drive and then sim the rest. We should be able to take care of Navy. I see a scenario where the Titans finish above it, last in the AFC South. I mean, definitely. There's a potential for it. I mean, if Anthony Richardson really sucks for some reason, Colts could. I mean, the Jags could easily jag their way. I think it's more about the Titans surprising and Will Levis being good, if that's going to happen, because they are pretty, pretty solid gap behind the other teams in their division. I'm going to turn the game audio down a little bit, too. It felt like it was pretty loud. Ooh, we started with an interception. You'd love to see it. We might get a chance to just send one to Madu here, start things off. Go get it. Oh, come on, Madu. Gosh, that 
coffee is horrible. As a quarterback, this is going to be a very tough game. You're going up against one of the top 20 units in the entire country. They know who your primary target is. They're going to be keying on him just like they did that. It's crazy how much Badu plays like Nico Collins when he's wears the number built like him. Really good on those like intermediate throws for us. He hasn't quite been that like vertical monster for us yet. Oh, there's Jarius Mack. Return of the Mac. Return of the Mac. Missed two years with a broken leg. <laughs> Let's play one more drive. That was quick. Yeah, Cam Akers did look good. Vikings maybe regret letting him letting him go. I didn't even realize he wasn't on Minnesota. Cause oh, where the? How did that happen? Cause when we did the Vikings deep dive, he was still listed on the Vikes, but. Uh, Good pickup for the Texans. What if Cam Akers beat out Damian Pierce for the RB2 spot? That'd be pretty wild. Oh, there's Mac again. Will, you know my thoughts on Tua being ranked the sixth best quarterback in Madden. It's a it's a freaking joke. People were like, "Yikes, O line." We're going for it. Fourth and inches. Come on. But uh, people were like, let's get this fourth down, and then we'll keep talking about Tua here. Um, saying, oh, they have to rate him super high so you get realistic like results in simulation from him. Like, or just like build a better simulation engine where you can factor in having a coach like Mike McDonald. <laughs> you know, there's a thought. <laughs> Man, they're loading the line of scrimmage here. Let's get, let's get a little wild here. Just send Benzinger deep. We gotta get out of here. Come on, Max. Man, I thought that that DB was going to go deeper than that. Cover the other guy. You hate to see it. Great play by that D-back. Also, our tight end's got a man up in that situation. At least our defense is balling out today. Offense has been slow out the gate. Probably be our last drive here. We'll sim the rest of the game. It's a good run by Kelman. Four for 62 already for the running back. That'll help, hopefully, the center's playing style go up a little bit. Is it delusional to think the Saints can win 10 games? I mean, they got an easy schedule. I, I sure as hell wouldn't bet on it, but 10 games isn't delusional for any NFL team to win. That's not saying that much. All right, we're going deep. Benzinger. Oh, he breaks the tackle. He's into the end zone. Let's go. All right. We should be able to jump to the end of the game. Take care of business here. 21 nothing. Putting the old beat down on him. Uh-oh. Spoke too soon? Spoke too soon? Okay, there we go. There's some points. Some more pointage. All right, 38-22. Really we have not started the... Uh, TFGO College Football League yet. I don't really, I, I don't know what the holdup is. I haven't really checked in too much because I've been so freaking busy. All right. So we climb. We got another QB prospect. Wasn't that the center that didn't like us? I think it was. All right, we're, we're getting fire here. We got a bunch of dudes. I think that we 
landed that center. So our playing style must have gone up, and then he was like, all right, you clear. Yeah, awesome. We got him. All right. Yeah, whenever we do, do the league, I'm going to play as uh, North Carolina, drop top. So we're staying with the NC vibes. All right, so we got 235 points to spend. We've already landed six players. Where does that put us on the top classes? Hey, 40th for Charlotte, not too shabby. So, let's schedule a visit here for another interior offensive line prospect. Might as well go max on actually we can give him a hard sell taco we should be able to at least there we go he'll like that What do I think of Knox being rated higher than Kincaid? It's it's not a good rating. I mean, now that you have archetypes, like you can't even really say, oh, but Knox is a better blocker, like because you now have the vertical threat archetype. Like very clearly, <laughs> Kincaid's a better player. I, I, the Madden ratings are so bad this year. I If I have time for it, I really want to make a video shredding them, and I know people want that. It's just I am so freaking tied up right now. Like, even trying to find time to stream this has been tough. All right. So, this guy's actually pretty tight right now. We should be able to schedule a visit. Oh, we can't. We're not going to be able to get him in. So, let's go hard sell. There's no way that's true. Puka Nakua is lower than Zay Flowers. Please tell me that's not true. There's so there's so many bad ratings this year. I feel like they were okay with the ratings for a little bit there. That's I mean that's the worst thing I've heard so far. Puka's only an 84. I mean, Puka as an 84 isn't that bad, but that means they have Zay Flowers as like a 85, 86. I mean, I feel like Puka should be like an 85 and Zay should be like an 82. Don't quote me on that for the deep dives, but that's... Just off the top of my head. So we still have 120 hours and we're in pretty good shape here. So let's maybe add um, like a four star. See if there's any four stars not getting looked at. Preferably local. There's a wide receiver from Texas. That's not crazy. Wide receiver from Florida. And there's a Georgia. Let's scout these guys and then... Oh, this guy's got deal breakers. So we'll take him off. You're a bust. I don't know why we can't finish the scouting on him. Well, let's just... Uh... Oh, 
offer some scholarships here, and we'll start talking to these guys next week, depending on how interested they are. Matabuike is a 92? Good lord. That's rich. <laughs> All right, I am going to do true play the moments on this one. Welcome everyone to the home of the Charlotte 49ers, Jerry Richard. All of these ratings that you guys are dropping in the comments are making me mad. <laughs> There's so many ridiculous things that you guys are able to bring up with this, with these ratings. It's you, you hate to see it. I'll say that. I got one rating I like. 60 viewers in the house. Thank you guys for joining us today. Ah, man, these checkdowns are. Wacky. Go make a play, Madu. Ugh. Probably had the cross wide open there, but. Uh-oh. Stupid roughing. I'm going to decline it just because it happens way too much. Yeah, Nico Collins as an 83 is... I just don't get it, dude. I just don't understand. I don't feel like playing. Oh, it held him to a field goal. Now from inside the red zone. He wants it all. Oh, come on. We got to connect on that. That was actually there. Ah, just trying to throw the slant, but I got hit. I agree with you, Frisky. Trevor Lawrence at a 77 is incredible. I don't get... Trevor was playing great and then battled through an injury the last six weeks where he struggled. And it's not just Madden. Like, fantasy football, he's going as, like, QB 16 right now. Like, I did an underdog draft this morning. And I got Trevor Lawrence, like, super late. Everybody says I had him too high in my deep dive rankings. It's like, he has he has quickly turned into, like, Kyler, who, like you just said, Will, is also severely underrated by Madden. Scoring position on first and goal. Brown will throw it. Still looking on the move. The sweet beat. I don't know why it didn't let me throw there. I was trying to get it to be. I think defenses sometimes. I'm a little rusty right now. I'm not playing my best ball. Because you give up yards. In this day and age, you're going to give up yards. Who cares? This is the area you're going to bow up. Nice job on first down stopping them. Oh my God. <sighs> the throwing arcs in this game regressed about five years. That's one of my big complaints. Some of those interceptions to underneath defenders. Oh, man, we got to go. Oh, double tapped A. This is this is like the ugliest game I have played in three years on this Switch. I, do, I literally just double tapped A. I, I don't know if I've ever done that on a live stream. <laughs> Yikes. 
We got to focus for the second half here, guys. These Madden, Madden ratings are getting me all fed up. Dude, Cam Jordan as an 87 overall might be the worst thing you guys have said yet. That's just that's just a straight lie. He was so bad last year. Oh God, pass rush gets in. Ah! There we go. There we go, Max Brown. That's what we need from you. That creativity that he's brought to the table. All right, what do we got? Ten to three. Lunar, how's it going? We'll be live for a while. We kind of just started the stream. Oh! Oh! Are you kidding me? Let's go! Oh, I'm going to miss you, Kelman. I'm going to miss you, Kelman. Oh, that was so nice. Well, let's see that again. The spin. The contact balance. The juke. And then just a little bit of power. Oh, that was disgusting. All right. Let's play a little defense. We got fourth and ten. They're throwing for it on fourth down. You got it. Nathan Peters is their quarterback. Not Nathan Peterman, but dangerously close. We got third and five. They're pressing. You got this, Madu. Yeah, baby. Touchdown. Or down at the one. That works, too. I mean, that was a touchdown, but whatever. God, he's slippery. I think we're good to sim simmer way out of here. Well, look what we have here, guys. After all the early season doubts, these guys. We might be ready for a conference promotion after this year. Man, they're just believe. Or maybe we need one more year in this conference to just dominate. Four-star safety, four, two four-star safeties. Everybody wants to come to Charlotte. Let's go, baby. Championship contender on the way up. That's what we'd like to see. Oh, this is a big game against East Carolina. It's going to be our last probably playage before we sim the rest of the year. This could be for the conference right here. We're going to go full play the moments in this one. I like to just put all of our commits together here. So. Time to actually hold on. I mean, we don't really need this guy because we just landed two four stars, but fill out the depth. I just really couldn't be less interested in a 
three-star bust right now for our program. Let's just go hard after these dudes. Finish scouting on... Sure. And then we'll just do a little 25 point love for these guys and we are off. Okay, if we win this game against a ranked opponent, we might might enter the ranks. I don't know. But we're going to do play key moments. Stick to it. Play all, all the moments. Probably our last playage of this season before we start simming ahead to next year. Wish this game was a neutral, well, it wouldn't even be a neutral set, but I wish we could play this game at uh, Bank of America. Oh, here we go. Oh, he breaks the tackle. Max Brown is hungry. Way to work back to the ball. Be QB friendly. ECU's uniforms are clean. I like them. <laughs> that was a throwaway to our old lineman. I just, I hate that you can't freaking change jersey numbers. It's so stupid. Like, Come on, EA. You, you mostly did good on this game. But why can we not change jersey numbers? That's just silly. Oh, this could... Dang, that was a good play. Busted screen. Oh, that's a tud. That's a tud. Okay, we got third down. Third and six. Let's bring a little heat. There we go. Get that ish out of here. 14 nothing and offense moving the ball. Oh, yeah, baby. I think the, the, the real trick here is going to be next year we stay in the easy conference but up it to Heisman difficulty. I think we're finally ready for that. And then if we can make the jump up to like, what would it be? We're in the American right now. Like make the jump up to like Conference USA maybe. Maybe do some conference realignment after next year. Oh, break a tackle, big guy. Heisman is hell. Nothing is balanced, right? Is that is that right?
you can realign conferences mid dynasty. Fourth and one. Great play, Neil. God, we're kicking these guys ass. If Heisman's that bad, then I'm not going to switch it. Maybe we could mess with the sliders a little bit. I don't know. I'm not trying to ruin the ruin the content here. Brown wants to pass. They're trying to get to it. I probably should have just hit B there. We really are balling, though. Okay, chat seems to agree Heisman is terrible, so we will not do that. Not a good throw. Not a good throw. <laughs> Our defense is just freaking nails, dude. It's nice having someone can bail us out. All right, well, nothing I can do with that sort of protection. Once we get our new quarterback, I I really want to try to take better care of the football and focus a little bit more there. But Spencer Brown is a – or Max Brown is, a, is our gunslinger. Live by the sword, die by the sword, baby. Remind me to turn roughing off, please, because it's it's literally like two out of three punts you get a roughing call. God, those helmets are sick. Third and two, defense continues to dominate. Keep it. Quarterback on the keeper. He gets the job done. Let's go, right. All right, we got our freaking tight end convert on a deep cross. Let's see how it goes. They'll run play action. Rush coming in. Nowhere. It will go nowhere because we cannot block, apparently. I'm just going to sim the field goal. That was awesome. We made it. I mean, defense gets us the ball right back. This isn't even really like a Heisman versus All-American type of deal. This is just our defense is dominating in the sim. Mr. Solo Polo, this is season three for us. The 2026 season. That was a nice little RPO up the middle. Thoughts on the NFL Top 100. Talk about bad lists. And the Madden ratings are probably worse this year than the NFL Top 100. Definitely some players I saw make the list that I was like, really? Ah, I was just trying to throw it away. His 90, I think he has 99 agility, I think it is. The ability to miss some of those sacks is nuts from, from Brown. going for it oh man I thought we were actually going to sneak that in there I 
I mean, I, I'm just going to keep simming because apparently our defense is just prime Legion of Boom out here. Our biggest game of the year. We just won 47 nothing, and I didn't even do much. Wow. We're rich. I mean, we might be ranked after that. That's a smackdown. 47-0. So, I think I will simulate the rest of the way here. Max Brown, player of the week. You love to see it. We did lose out on this safety, but that's all right. We got we got two better ones and this Juco. Would I consider doing a team builder dynasty? Certainly. Something to consider. Okay, Tua being higher than Burrow on the NFL Top 100 list is not something to complain about, in my opinion, because Burrow played like four games. Like, If it is a list based on last year, Tua was objectively better than Burrow last year. I don't think that's... anything egregious. I'm going to add... Let's see, any any three stars that have me number one that we're not currently recruiting, I'm going to add, which is just this fullback. So that actually didn't really do anything. I mean, if we only get 16 players, I feel like we'll be okay. I don't know. I, I don't, I, in playing other dynasties offline, I haven't encountered issues like not being able to fill out my team or anything like that so we'll just keep it where we got it we're gonna have a lot of recruiting points though Damn, we lost? Come on, guys. We were rolling. How do we lose? I was feeling so good. UTSA takes us down 24 to 16. That sucks. Max Brown, two picks. Ouch. Pop into recruiting real quick. Brown did not like us losing that game. We jumped up on these dudes, though, so that's good. We'll get some more talent in the building. Let's... Oh, Lunar. You know who we got in the shadows. It's the... It's our it's our rookie or our our recruit ninety eight speed quarterback coming in. Let's um. Let's just add some three stars here. Um, some local ish three stars. We got Texas, New York. I'm gonna do this fairly sloppily here and just kind of get some. Some more names in here. I haven't gone to Panthers training camp yet, but we're going to go this week. 
So I'm just, I'm just gonna go pretty sloppy here. I'm just gonna offer scholarships, throw on 10 points. Cause these are gonna be depth players for us. And then we will fill in points as we deem appropriate. Looks like we can probably do more like 25. As a Bears fan, we love the Panthers. Have fun. <laughs> yes, you do. Gifted you, Caleb. Can't lose to Tulsa now. We got to bounce back. Brutal. Come on, guys. Ouch. We got to look and see what happened. Thirty five twenty eight. Tough loss. Not much to really speak of statistically. We got a USF. I mean, we're at least in a bowl game. But let's let's finish strong now. Let's get to seven or eight wins. There we go. Seven and four. And then we got two lane. Maybe we should maybe we should play a little bit. Just play the let's play the opening drive and sim the rest. Let's agree to do that. And if it's like game winning drive within two minutes and we gotta play it, we'll do that. But recruiting should be pretty status quo. We'll spend a little more time on it when we get to the off season. But let's Will, that would be awesome. Are you in the Discord server? Because I might have to take you up on some help on the roster editing. Welcome to Yulman Stadium in New Orleans, home to the Tulane Green Wave, and as this city likes to... I'm just going to play the first opening offensive drive. Defense gets us the ball back, and we're backed up on the two, so this is perfect. From the shotgun, they'll run it. Goodness. That was almost a safety. Yeah, we'll join it real quick and tag me, and then I'll add you as a friend on Discord. And I might have to hit you up on that. Great catch. Great catch. Just tag me in the general chat, Will. Dude, I kind of panicked and pressed B because the first two options were not available on that play. That could have been really bad, but it worked out. <laughs> God, 
Kelman has missed a lot of snaps because of unless is he not in I wonder if he's not in as our third down running back potentially or if it's just like a Yeah, he's he's been banged up all year long. Ooh. You're not Kelman quick, but still pretty nice. 10,000 career passing yards for Max Brown. That's very commendable. Making plays. Why did we end up moving to the East Coast? It was... We just fell in love with the city of Charlotte. We came down here for a, a Vikings Panthers game last year, and we we're like, man, it's awesome down here. Just get rid of it. That's really all it all it was. I mean, opportunity to get out of Minnesota winners as well. We gotta finish this drive off. Come on. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down marker. Now facing a third. Madu's got the star finally. Looking to throw it again. Whoa, what was that throw? Max sprayed it. Yikes. All right, well, I said I was just gonna play the first drive. I don't want to interfere too much, so let's let's trust our team. There we go, seven nothing. Uh, if it gets to two minutes and we're we need to, to step in, I will. But we're we're playing well, twenty one ten. All right, we got this, twenty eight seventeen. Oh yeah, we're good. All right, an eight and four season. Is TFGO eighteen plus? I think we're at six. Plus currently. Let's see. Do I still have the application link? Uh, I thought I did on my automated response there. Let's see. I think if you do this, it should populate it. Maybe not. I guess it's not working. I'll try and get the uh, application link for you here. And for anybody interested in joining our Madden League, you can. I got it right here. I just need to generate the link. But uh, yeah, no better time to apply than right now because we got uh, Madden come out in a couple weeks and. Um, now that it should have crossplay, it should be pretty tough to get into our league. So you want to get on that wait list now. Brand exposure, C minus. And we're back at it against East Carolina for the conference championship. You love to see it. I think we should do the same deal. Opening drive. We're in pretty good shape with all these dudes we added. I have no idea who's good or what, but... Honk, what's up, dude? We are loving North Carolina. Your home state, right? You're up in Raleigh. Just another four-star wide receiver, because why not? Take a look at recruiting. We got 65 points to spend. 
Who's tight? I mean, it's not going to make too much of a difference either way. So let's just kind of throw these points out here to keep things a moving. Gosh, this guy's tiny. 6'2", 224, tight end. That's a fullback. I do plan on getting more into college football, Hype City, mainly because I'm in college football territory now in North Carolina. It's not quite as big of a deal up in Minnesota. So I'm excited to go out. I, you know, watch the games, maybe go to go find some Clemson bars, or I think every bar is a Clemson bar out here. But uh, North UNC as well. I'm looking forward to watching those two teams a lot. I also might go to the Tennessee NC State game. I uh, I just got lunch with Trevor Sycamore yesterday, and uh, unfortunately he's out of town for that. We were talking about maybe going to that together, which would have been sick. So, and my cousin's a big NC State fan, so maybe she'll want to come down, go to the game. Yeah, North Carolina is definitely more of a college basketball state, but it's still college football territory much more than it is Minnesota. All right, so I'm going to play the opening drive and sim. If we do just as well as we did the last time we played East Carolina, we should be just fine. Good start already. I am not going to apply to scout for any colleges, no. <laughs> I, with all due respect, have no interest in leaving what I'm currently doing to scout high school football players. <laughs> uh, that was dangerous. I might uh, have an opportunity, though, to work from the press box for a Panthers game. That's a development. Can't say too much more on that at the moment, but. Oh, damn. That was, that was bad. That was bad. All right, we're probably just going to send this thing deep to Benzinger. Is that really gonna be our one drive? I, I I wasn't really focused. Let's let's play one more. If anything, I hurt our chances there. Alright, we're backed up. Oh never mind, they just scored. I thought they backed us up. Alright. We're gonna actually focus here. Kelman's still hurt. Missing him. Let's get this, guys. Just a little RPO action. Damn. Are any of my rankings for the deep dive a hot take? My next one might be. My next one actually might be. I don't think any of the ones we've had to this point really are too hot. Maybe the Bucks. The Bucks might be the closest thing to a hot take I've had so far. All right, we're going to start simming. Playing better than 
<laughs> playing better than ourselves. Something about the sim engine likes this matchup for us. Wow, this is a good game. Okay, we got to play this. 17 17. Big run. Good job, Max Brown. It's not the Lions. I'll tell you that right now. It is not the Lions. We're not making that mistake again. <laughs> I really do promise I don't hate the Lions. Like, I genuinely like the Lions. I just was wrong about them last year. Man, that was good coverage. We got to go for it here. Okay, we got to be able to run this. We got a good old line. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, baby. Mm. I think it's got to be Gunner Holmberg, honk boy. I think it's got to be Gunner. That dude was balling for us. Didn't get the releases we wanted there. Pound it in, guys. Stuffed. Kelman's just not even available. I mean, that dude, that dude fell off with the injuries. He should have gone pro, got his money. Oh, they gave it to him. Great run. Middleton's not bad, though. He's getting the job done for us. All right, let's see how the defense does. All right, we're right back in. I will sim the bowl game, though. But this game's bigger than the bowl game. Winning the conference would be huge. Two-minute warning. Favorite YouTube rebuild has got to be the... Uh, Expand or not the expansion. I mean, the expansion team one was fun, but the uh, the like death sentence uh, Saints Sun Devils rebuild that we did was oh, yeah, oh, yeah, we got this. That was so fun with the chosen Rosen. Yeah, Nighthawks, Rosen. That's what it was, not Sun Devils. Ooh, that was clean. Could be put in a situation for a big kick here. I, I would prefer to get the touchdown. Can't score too quick, though. It's a nice looking drive from Max Brown. Some scrambles, some runs. Well, the defense had an opportunity here to really kind of seal this game, and instead they allow the quarterback scramble to pick up some big Perfect. Now we can just run it a couple times. Here is a crucial play coming up. And there's the handoff. 
Is there anything else I hate about the new Madden other than the ratings? Honestly, I haven't seen anything about the new Madden. Um, I don't, have they dropped any like franchise mode information? Okay, we got a big play here. We got to get this. Oh, what a play. Uh, it's a lot of time left. We're going to play defense, too. And we got to make this kick. Uh, all right. Okay, let's get her done, defense. Tackle them down. They don't have any timeouts. That's perfect. Get in their coats. Jesus, guys, come on. No way. So it's a lot of new scenario stuff. I mean, I think that's a good thing. As always, though, if done well. Oh. All right, we're calling timeout after this. It's bad coverage. Ah. We got to go make it happen. Max Brown, this is where legends are made. We're even doing the return. So after taking the lead, they'll kick it off here and hope the defense can hold They're on. doing the draft presentation, getting a little love. That's good, too. And he takes this from inside the five. Oh, that's a nice juke move, Burris. All right. All right, here we go, guys. We got this. Three timeouts. We can do it. Tight end is so slow. Just feed our tight end, apparently. Okay, good catch. Got to just go four verts. You know it. They go. They got two high safeties. Damn, let's go. <sighs> Three man rush. We got to get a better, we got to get a higher percentage look than that. I'm going to put Madu in the slot here and look for that slot. And then, Mac, you're just going to go. Yes! Yes! Jarius Mac, return of the Mac, baby! Woo! Oh, what a play. Let's go, baby. The man who spent two years recovering from a broken leg holds on to the tough catch, wins the conference. Someone better spend a seventh round draft pick on that man. He is. An absolute Charlotte legend. Panthers better pick that man up. God, that was clutch. Absolutely clutch. Wow.
Conference champions, baby. Feeling good. All right. Got another four-star wide receiver. He liked what he saw there. Program tradition up. Max Brown, conference player of the week. A nine and four season. Hell yeah. All we do is go up and up and up. Oklahoma adds another Heisman Trophy. We got James Madison in the first responder bowl. That's a sim if I've ever seen it. We better win that, though. We'll upgrade our coach skills. Let's do uh, maybe O-line. Off-season training boost could could be worth it. All right. I'm going to sim our bowl. Looks like we won. Let's go. A ten and four season. Yeah, the mat. I I think I have to. I might have to do it. I'm gonna like take a shot and then do the do like reacting to the Madden ratings. I think I have to. I'm just so overworked, you guys. Like I I can't. I have never felt more burnout in my entire life than trying to get through these deep dives. But God, there's there's some crap right now with these Madden ratings. Yeah, BJ Ashalari injury, brutal. So sad. The one position group that the Cardinals probably did not want the injury either. Other than like Kyler or Marv or Trey. Like if any number of their young corners went down, it'd be like, yeah, well, at least they have six other dudes. Ajalari is like the one edge rusher for them where they're like hoping to take a step. Let's see what the college football playoffs are looking like this year. Texas Tech, good for you. I mean, all they had to do, they beat NC State, USC, and Clemson. I think George is probably going to steamroll them. The two teams we played, Clemson and, and Clemson got to the Final Four, Georgia got to the Finals. Yeah, Xavier Thomas is going to have an opportunity for sure. A minus pro potential, coach stability, coach prestige. We're up to a three star program now, guys. And your, yep, Georgia wins 41 24. That's crazy, honk boy. The same thing happened to us a week ago. The loudest thunder I've ever heard in my life. Okay, players leaving. Nobody. Dwayne Thomas will be missed. Kelman's going to get drafted. Fourth round. Bullardick getting drafted. Max Brown not getting drafted. Someone will pick him up undrafted. He'll be the next Tony Romo for sure. Are you kidding me? Roman Wilson might be out for the year? God, that'd be absolutely brutal for the Steelers. Same situation where it's like, that's the one wide receiver that other than Pickens. Like, if any of the other wide receivers got hurt, they'd be like, all right, whatever, we have four other deep threats. Roman Wilson's, like, kind of integral for them. God, that would really suck. So 
So our off-season recruiting is going to be pretty simple here. We added all those dudes. I'll take a peek at the transfer portal. Just in case. Oh. Well. If we could replenish. All of a sudden, there's like some dudes that want to come here. I mean, we got to we got to take advantage of that. This guy's got his first. This guy's three star from Virginia. Power rusher. Strong safety sophomore. Four star corner. Dang. I've never seen this many transfers like interested like this. And that's just the recommended. I mean, these guys are, are down as well. All right, well, just kidding. I wasn't anticipating all those transfers to, to be interested. So let's... Let's do some recruiting here. So I think we should be able to get the guys we are already talking to should be pretty set. And then we can focus on those dudes we just added. This guy's not quite ready to visit, so we'll talk to him a little bit more. My take on why Justin Simmons hasn't been signed yet. That's a good question. Um, I don't really have a great answer at this point. For a while, I figured he just didn't want to go through OTAs. But uh, at this point, I, I feel like it's probably he, he still thinks he's worth more than a league minimum contract, and I think he's right about that. So he might be saying, hey, I'm not... I'm not coming out risking concussions, risking injuries for $2 million. Like, either pay me what I'm worth or I, I'm not playing this year. That's potentially what's going on. I, I, I don't have a better answer besides that. Yeah, these guys should all be pretty locked in on us. Still got to go through. So this guy, he's nice. He's not like insane or anything like that, but definitely, definitely want to go after him. <clears throat> I'm not going to bother with, um, should be able to do 50 points on all these guys, right? At least close to it. I'm not going to bother with scouting these guys. We'll just find out when they get here how good they are. We'll start with 50 on all these dudes, and then... Adjust as appropriate. Actually, we can probably do even more than that. Now that I'm looking at it, we might be able to just send full house on all of them. Still have 90 points. Can at least add five to all of them. I'm 
Renfro to the Steelers. Is that speculation on a Roman Wilson injury, or did that actually happen? Because that would make a lot of sense if Roman Wilson is out. We should probably look see how our how our team did stats wise too. All right, we got some commits. Love to see it. Man, we're gonna have quite the class here with once we factor in the JUCOs. We're gonna schedule some easy games next year. We're going for the undefeated season. All right, so Benzinger in his sophomore season at eleven hundred yards. Madu cooled off a little bit, but nine touchdowns. Our tight end who I don't even think is all that good at 700 yards for us. Defensively, nine sacks for Coates. We should be shaping up to be pretty dominant in our conference next year. And then if we if we win the conference again, we will we'll move up to like the ACC or something. But uh, for now, let's just keep recruiting. So we, do, we still have 325 hours that we can spend here. So let's max everybody out and then we can start getting some uh, visits going. Who's ready for a visit? You are. You are. Playing style is an A plus for him. You love to see it. Same here. That's funny. That one center originally didn't even want to commit to us because his playing style was locked out. And then this guy's, I guess it's, He's agile tendency versus power. But now we have A-plus playing style for a center. A little different than the guy that was blocking us out. Man, this would be pretty nice to get a sophomore four-star corner. We're going to have like a top 25 class, I think. Not too shabby for little old Charlotte. All right, we got that. That was one of the top JUCOs in the country, that running back. And we got four-star corner. Man, we did lose that middle linebacker, but... Get the rest of these scheduled. I'm really excited for this next season. We could go undefeated. It's a bummer we lost this guy. He would have been fun. But uh, should be good. Keep him coming. We're doing a good job for the most part, keeping our pipeline too on the East Coast. So where are we at? 
top classes. We are 23 or 22 for top classes with a few more still to a few more still to come, but nothing too major here. Is that it? I think that's it. And this kicker. Excited to see how good these guys are we just got because we didn't scout any of those dudes. It's going to be a complete surprise. We even added a kicker and a punter into the mix. Doesn't hurt to keep that pipeline going. But let's find out how good these dudes are. Position changes. The moment of truth is really going to be the quarterback. Um, which we have to check the athletes. So, yeah, this dude is going to be ridiculous. 95 true freshmen. I'm so stoked. And then... We did get him as a quarterback. He's a 66 running back. He does actually have some size. Let's see. Do we need running backs? Oh, hell yeah. This is the dude we got, that transfer, I think. Yeah, Marquise Williams. He's not bad, man. Um. I think I think we'll make we'll keep Okoye as a quarterback. He'll be a good backup. I don't think he's going to start at running back for us. And then Epinesa is probably defense. Yeah, linebacker. It's kind of a little bit of everything. He's best as a outside backer, probably. So that's fine. All right. Let's just see if we got any players we need to do position changes on. Probably not. So we got. We got some dudes, some big wide receivers. This guy's like another Madu. I mean, that makes sense why he would he would come here. 6'5", 93 speed. Damn. We got to get another speedster in the pipeline, though. But we'll probably redshirt both these freshmen, and then we'll be we'll be set after Madu and Benzinger are gone. We're gonna have a couple of nice. Big wide receivers. We just got to get some speedsters going. Tight end. Um, I mean, this dude, I think, is a fullback. 6'2", <laughs> 224. This dude's actually... Definitely a fullback. 68 speed with good. Yeah, he's a higher overall as a fullback. I mean, that's that's pretty tough. I almost wonder if we should move him to like running back, but his trucking's not good enough. He's just not very useful. We gotta get some better tight ends in the building. O line though. I know we, we added a bunch of centers. They're not very good, unfortunately. So we'll just keep both those guys there. We got a good freshman guard. But yeah, O-line, running back, tight end. Those will be focuses for us. These guys are like, okay, but we can do better. Great call by Marquise Williams to transfer here, though. He's, t he's perfect replacement for Kelman. Only 72 juke moves, pretty tough, but 87 catching. 
Man, you might have a better career at wide receiver. I wonder... Hmm. I might do that, you guys. Because we lost... Um, Dwayne... Uh, who was the guy? At number 10. That was a really good slot wide receiver for us. I think this guy's got better pro potential as a slot wide receiver at 5'9", 175. We're going to be in a tough spot at running back. We're going to have to start this dude, but this guy's bigger and has 84 juke moves, is probably better. He's going to go up, too, so I think that's probably... And he's got Sky Moore's number as that slot wide receiver. I think that's probably best for us. What is the, what's his route running? We should probably make sure. He's got good route running. Yeah. You won't regret that. Man, I, I like this tight end. 6'5", good acceleration. That's our... Uh, <laughs> That's the offensive lineman that we moved. What's his catch? His catching will probably be more practical next year, so that'll be fun. <laughs> I appreciate that GG speed. That's the point of being a supposed football expert while I do these streams. Bring bring a little something special to the table there, hopefully. God, we got a bunch of bunch of dns clowny's gone coats is gonna have a big year coats is gonna be a problem we're not on heisman gg we're on uh all american we were just talking about that, whether or not we should change or not. All right. This guy's nice. This guy's really nice. Eighty five speed. Could probably so we're a base four three. I think we'll I think we'll move him to left outside, we'll redshirt him. It doesn't really matter. We're gonna redshirt him. It's not letting me change him anyway. But he's going to be starting redshirt freshman year. And these corners just suck. What about the safeties we got? Am I not in position changes? I don't know why it wasn't letting me change. There we go. Now it will. Okay, Callaway, you're definitely a strong safety, so we're going to move him over. And then we're going to move him over as well. We distribute our safety room a little bit. Definitely aren't going to need any safeties. <laughs> we got a bunch of them. But yeah, let's move Elias to left outside. And I guess Epinesa can slide over. And 
you're going to move to middle linebacker just to have a little bit more talent in there. All right. Should be should be good. This kicker doesn't suck. He should be pretty good by the time Harvey's done. All right. It is player development time, baby. Tell me something good. Sorry, Carson Black. You're actually not looking bad, but we're starting the freshman. Oh, hell yeah. Dude, what a great call. This guy shot up. He was a 70. Oh, what a great call, you guys. He has elite development trait. I don't even know if I've seen that before. Wow. Wow. Okay, so we've got a freaking stud running back, and then let's see what happened with... Where... Where is he at? He didn't... He actually didn't go up. Poor, poor Marquise Williams. This dude... He's got star... I feel bad for Marquise Williams. He didn't go up at all. Man transferred to us. He still fits that role. Benzinger didn't go up at all. What the hell? Dude had 1,000 yards last year. How did he not go up? I guess he's just maxed out. He's just a deep threat. Madu, on the other hand, is skyrocketing. The thing is, if we look at short route running, man, Burris. Burris might actually be our slot. 93 short route running. He's the one that had that nasty juke on that kick return, too. Sorry, Marquise Williams. You might be just kind of... A receiving back? I don't. I don't even know if I. It's, it might be too late to do anything about that. What about our converted offensive lineman? Yeah, he's he's practical. <laughs> it's funny that he's not like he's actually a better athlete in many ways than Dupree. Yeah, Madu might be might be a first rounder. Dude's is so good. All right, O line looking pretty damn nice, other than center. Kendall Brown keeps getting better. Coates is pretty maxed out. This is our year, guys. This is our year. Okay, LaRue. Okay. Kicker didn't even go up. Uh, my favorite college team is technically the Minnesota Golden Gophers. But just moved to Charlotte, so it might become one of these Carolina teams to be determined on that. All right, well, now that I know we have a star freshman running back, I definitely want to get that. And 
And then isn't one of these... One of those increases... Um, you're also a Minnesotan fan? Nice. Go Gophers, baby. I thought one of the uh, coaching skills increased your like week one interest or whatever. I didn't see it in there. It's locking me out of there for some reason. It's not in here. Okay, it's it's all in the recruiting. We already got that. Something's something's glitching in there. All right, encourage transfers. Basically, cut week. We do have to do this. We have poor Carson Black. Probably got some wide receivers we could do here. Yeah, Latimer, you trash. Goodbye. Lasky. I don't see you ever really playing here. We got four more cuts to make. O line. Keep what we got going. D line will keep everybody. Johnson, I don't think you're gonna make it for us. Travis, 81 speed corner at five foot eight. That's just not that's just not gonna make the program around here, my friend. I'm sorry. Melvin Charles. And then how about uh Yeah, this kicker. Gotta go. 51 overall. <laughs> It makes sense from Canada and a Gophers fan. It adds up. Okay, we're going to leave custom conferences for now because next year we might be messing with that. But let's get going. I'm excited for our first game with this quarterback. I might make our first game like a somewhat challenging game and really try to win that. And then... Not quite Ole Miss hard, but yeah, like App State, rivalry game. I like that. FCS and Central Michigan. That's fine. And then we got our conference schedule. But I, would, I don't quite want to make this Ole Miss. I want like, like Boston College might be. A good candidate. Something in that category. Vanderbilt take on an SEC school. They're pretty close. Let's do Vandy at Vandy. And then try to win out the rest of the way. Do our red shirts first. And I also might just write down. I, it helps me. Or I, can, I guess I can do it in the chat, too. Write down, like, who we need to recruit. What positions we need to recruit, at least. All right, Okoye, I am going to red shirt you. God, he's nice, too, but he is not DeMarco Burks. That freshman fullback's going to start for us. We probably should have encouraged this dude to transfer. So we're going to redshirt both these dudes, all of our freshman wide receiver. So I need – I'm just going to write these down. One small wide receiver slot guy. Or we need, we need a small guy, and we need – One speed wide wide receiver. Because we got enough big bodied wide outs.
Anthrop, I'm going to keep you eligible to play because you are kind of our best athlete at tight end right now. O-line wise, we got a pair of tackles that are young. We got some young guards. We could probably use one more one IOL guy we like. I want to keep it small but talented for our initial looks. A couple of freshmen to red shirt. Although we can really only That's all right. If if our guard gets hurt, I'm sure Dominique Kelly can play center for us. All right, as far as D-line goes, I think we definitely need... I mean, we have four juniors <laughs> at D-end. We definitely need just D-end general. As a general need. Linebacker, we should be in pretty good shape. D-tackle, we have dudes, but should get at least one. DT. Um, but yeah, linebacker, we got we got a freshman, two sophomores here, freshman, junior. We're pretty dang set. We're only losing a couple guys there. Corner, we're pretty set, but if we could get a talented one. That'd be nice. And then safety, we're definitely set. We got some some dudes at safety last year. Just want to make sure I didn't forget anybody as we were going through that. Oh, we definitely want to redshirt him because he's going to be a monster. All right, so that's pretty simple. I don't know if I'll do another full season lunar. Probably will stop it after our first game, honestly. Maybe maybe two games. But let's let's put that in the chat. So that's what we're targeting there. Let's look at wide receivers first. Geez, another talented quarterback likes us. We do need running back as well. But let's start at wide receiver. So I don't think we'll be getting any five stars, but oh, hell yeah, dude. This is perfect. A 6'1", 181 route runner from North Carolina. That could be exactly the starting point we need here. Le Levi Fung. Oh, he's a gem. All right. You are a top priority target right there. We're off to a good start. All right. And then we kind of need like a deep threat. So we got New Jersey. Georgia deep th uh, route runner. Take a look at those two guys. Georgia, deep threat. Here's another route runner from North Carolina. This guy's physical from North Carolina. Deep threat from Louisiana. South Carolina, deep threat.
and a couple deep threats from Florida. So let's try to narrow it down to probably three of these dudes. Gem, 97 speed. Okay. 75 release, 5'11", 205. That's a great potential target right there. 98 speed. <laughs> okay. Both those dudes would be like perfect, honestly, for what we need. Good agility too. Presumably the change of direction wouldn't be too bad. Less exciting there. I think we can rule that dude out, even if he's from South Carolina. Holy frickety frickety flippity flopperton. What? There it is, 100 speed. All right, well, that answers that. Hello. What the hell? <laughs> All right, honestly, we, we got everything we need here. We don't even need to burn. That guy's got a deal breaker. Oh, all these guys say deal breaker. That's a little concerning, but... Hopefully, we can overcome that. Or that's that's a good thing. That's saying his, we, we check the box on his deal breaker is what that's saying. Okay, we're going to target these four guys. That's enough at wide receiver. We need to focus on... Oh, we need a tight end, too. I kind of dismissed that. So this guy's got the size. Three star. Has this number one. Guy's not, doesn't have horrible size. It's a little small. Those are just the recommended ones. We could get a four-star tight end that can actually move and do some stuff. 6'4", 252, from North Carolina. And this guy is 6'5", 242, from South Carolina. Let's see how these guys are. Eighty-five speed. That would do. This doesn't tell us his speed, but he's blocking. We'll go after him. These guys are going to be more like we're targeting you, but not targeting you. You know. All right. Um, we said we needed an interior offensive lineman. Is anybody? Holy sh crap. There's a five-star that's interested in us. 6'6", six, six, 308. I don't even know why that guy's interested in us. Well, we can't compete with Ohio State. I mean, that's just asking for trouble. What about this dude? Competing with Memphis, six set. He's more of a tackle only. Mm. What about interior? We only need one good dude, one guy we like. This guy, 6'5", 301 from Wake Forest. Championship contender is the deal breaker. That's a little ballsy. Let's see what he how he scouts out. All right, there's our there's our offensive lineman. Easy peasy. If we get him, we're set. If we lose him, we need to take another look. Uh, we got to find a couple running backs to add here. We have a young running back we really like. Um, let's see. This guy is from North Carolina, four star. This guy's got a little bit more size. I don't mind those two dudes. Any other four stars that would have a chance? Got some Georgia guys. Here's, okay, we already added him. Here's another NC, NC, six foot, 202 from Charlotte. Let's take a look at these guys. 
All right, he's a gem. That's the guy from Charlotte, 91 speed. So we like him. We like him too. Not quite as much. This guy's got to be a gem for us to go after him. Okay, boss, you're off the board. All right, so we're swinging a little high at running back, but we can always bounce back later there. And then we can focus on D end now. There's a five star from Cincy. Oh, probably more realistic to come down here to like, uh, he's more of a D tackle for us. That wouldn't be the worst thing though. Six, four, two ninety three. You could play D tackle. We'll add him. Six, four, two seventy three from Charlotte. Got to add him. Bit of a tweener, but make it work. These guys are all just huge. This guy's from Charlotte. Power rush. We might have to just try to find a uh, three-star gem. Let's see if uh, let's see if any of those three stars were gems. How much scouting? We got plenty of scouting points left, so let's go after it here. Okay, not you. You're not a gem. Doesn't mean we can't recruit you, but. Come on, Ian Ali from Charlotte. Be a gem. Hey, all right. I'd feel good if we landed you. This guy's also from Charlotte. He's not a... I mean, he's good. He's just a four-star. This guy's from Georgia. So this guy would be a D tackle for us, which we haven't added any D tackles yet. Let's take a look there. So we got... Man, there's actually some five stars that are like kind of about us. Let's add this dude, see if he's any good. He's got his number one. I'm cool with three star gems if that's what these guys are. We got enough scouting points to figure that out. Let's let's try and get one four star on the board though. I'd, I'm not ready to go at it with these five star guys yet. I'd rather. Find some four stars we really like. So let's see. Should be able to scout these guys up. Okay, we got a four star gem. He doesn't have us on his board, but. Another four-star gem. I mean, we might as well go after the gems if the other guys aren't gems. You're a flop. And these guys are three stars. Running lower on points here. So we'll keep all these three stars like on the board, but we're gonna kinda not go after them super heavy to begin.
Then it's just... We got 40 hours left. What did I say for linebacker? Did I say we needed any? I felt like linebacker corner safety was not our biggest priority. Where was that comment from me? Here. We said a talented corner would be nice. So is there any... I mean, that could be what we try for. He's got his fourth. But I just, I just, I think we should just leave it where we got it. Honestly. It's 19 players on the board. We can offer some scholarships here that we haven't yet. I think we're in pretty good, we've got a good list here. I, I like I like our list. So let's go ahead. And I'm just gonna play that whole first week game. These guys are already narrowing it down against Vandy, and then that's gonna be the end of this stream. We got some recruiting to do first. So this guy does have us first, but he's big time. We're not even on this dude's board right now, so we got to go crazy here. Man, we're running out of points quick. <laughs> a lot to spend on these wide receivers but fortunately gosh we just run out of points so quickly hopefully some of these guys have us man brutal We may not have to just do 50s. Except for the guys that narrowed it into their top eight already. Who was the 100 speed guy, though? Let's... Let's not back off on him. <laughs> He's going to be full pedal to the metal as much as we can. But yeah, we might have to save a little bit of time here so we can spread it out. Luckily, these guys like us, so we can chill a little bit on them. Once we hit those three stars, it's like we're not even really talking to you. We got 50. 50. Oh, gosh. Please like us. Ah, 50. Come on, McAfee. All right. That's not bad. It's not bad for our first week. And then these guys are just going to have to wait. We'll get a little more clarity next week. Go ahead and set our depth chart now, though. God, DeMarco Burks is going to murder. Brandon Reed, get up out of here. This is Richard Earl's backfield, baby. Oh, that backfield's going to be nasty. 
Okay, Benzinger, I cannot put him on the bench. Absolutely not. The question is, who's playing wide receiver three for us? Because Rhodes is nice. He's bigger. Um, we got Marquise Williams was, was more of a slot guy, but who would... It was Miles Burris we identified with the best short route running. And then it's actually Evan Austin who has the best agility, change of direction, the best juke move. He's got the shifty ability. He's probably actually... And he's made some plays for us. He's probably our best slot option, even though he's the deep threat. And then just because I feel bad for Marquise Williams, I'm going to put him there. But Rhodes has to be a wide receiver for. I think that's the way we got to play it there. Tight end. Do we want a little bit more athletic ability here from tight end to his run block is actually higher. So I think we'll go that route. And then this guy as tight end three will be just fine. But this guy's a freshman. This guy might be our tight end of the future for now. So we'll get him there. They're already messing with our left, right situation. Bye bye, Ty. I hate that they do this. Like, just play. Play my best right guard at right guard. Play my best left guard at left guard. I don't get why we gotta flip them all the time. I like where I had them. And then, yeah, this uh, Sylvia is gonna be. Backup center. We got Kendall Brown. Newman. This should all take care of itself. They're messing with our linebackers. That doesn't matter to me quite as much. Man, Yates went up a lot. We'll start Yates at middle and then... Okine at outside. He started for us last year. All right, corner. Damn, we got... Look at this dude. Where did this guy come from? That's a first-round corner right there. Jesus. Where are we getting these guys? <laughs> 98, 99, 99, 99. Holy crap. He even has 70 strength. Okay. I mean, that's a pretty clean breakdown right there. We got a couple of good outside guys. A quick twitchy inside corner. All right. Secondary is looking nice. Do we play marble? Yeah, we play marble. Kicker, pawner. We can have a... He's not even that good at it, but... Uh, Marquise Williams can do punt returns.
you'll definitely be our power back, Marvin Lutman. And then we had, yeah, we had Evan Austin with slot. And then I guess, yeah, Marquise Williams. Let's get our actual defensive ends rushing the passer, please. I know we got plenty of them. And then we've got, yeah, geez, Yates really, really developed well. LaRue, probably. And then we'll make this our, uh, that sophomore that we like. Okine. All right, looking good. Vandy week, right? Oh, man, this recruiting is going to be tough. Beating Vandy should help. Okay, Levi Fung, is this? That's not 98. That's that's Reverson, so, or Reveron. We got number one on Reveron. Let's go, baby. So this is where we learn where we can reduce and distribute. So we definitely want to go max here. The other play is to just say, well, we're getting toasted by Nebraska. We're already in good shape here. The other play is we could potentially take him off the board. We'll see how we're looking with with everybody else here. Yeah, we're already falling behind here. I think that's the play, guys. Let's let's concede there. We still got three awesome wide receivers we're number 1 on and let's focus there. And then let's crank it up here cuz this was the one guard that we were like we got to get him. It was the only offensive lineman we added. All right, Clemson hasn't even offered this guy yet. Love to see that. They are going after this guy, so we'll crank it up here. Oh boy. Clemson's really going after this back from Charlotte. We're going to want to go up here at least to 40. All right, we're in good shape here on Ali. Three-star gem. Nobody's playing him yet. Let's max out Milanovic. Max out Heath. We're doing okay. We're really just left short on Revis here. We're still spending 50 on him. God, we got a lot more A's and B pluses for our hard sells now. All right. We're in a decent place there, I'd say. But let's play this game against Vandy. I'm just going to play this whole game. Get a good look at our team. Poor Vanderbilt already has to get their ass kicked by the SEC. Now they got to deal with the Welcome Charlotte to dynasty coming to town.
Also, I'm ordering pizza, so don't mind that. Oh, we don't want our running back returning kicks either. We got to keep an eye on that. This pizza should be ready after the stream, but if I have to leave to go get it, that's what I'm doing. All right, here we go. Oh, I hate that our running back wears 18. That's a bummer, but we'll just have to live with it. Let's go QB draw. This is risky. No! Oh, thank God. Oh, my God. That could have been so ugly. All right. I had to just take that because the freaking edge screamed off the edge. Go down. We don't need you fumbling. Yeah, Madu has 99 catching traffic. The dude's a, a stud. This is Mr. 98 speed. Yep. Good blocking. Oh! He's a freshman. I wish he had a real number. Oh, he could go. God, that 98 speed. He's not quite as, ex like, the first step isn't quite what we had in Max Brown. He's a little bit slower to get started right now. Madu, there's that 99 catch in traffic. That was a heck of a throw by the freshman. Heck of a throw there. Leading it away from the defense. All right. That was fun. His passing stats are solid. He's a 75 overall. He's uh, got 94 throw power. So definitely solid. They're going hurry up. We got him. They were all over him. Nowhere to go as that third down play turned into a disaster. Hold on. I'm going to... I was literally about to call a timeout because I don't want to play punts. Not trying to deal with freaking... Uh, Roughing calls, and none, none of you reminded reminded me to <laughs> turn that off. Keep it. Oh, good play. Good play, 98. Screen game's nasty. No, he's hurt. Risk of it. Ugh. Not great. Not great. All right, Carson Black, you've been waiting your turn. From the explosive 
freshman to the okay we can't risk it in his first game we gotta just let Carson Black redshirt senior take care of the business here he knows the system yeah from Max Brown to Carson Black What's up, Lisa B? I got the pizza ordered, just so you know. Carson Black keeps it. Shows some toughness. Well, we're going to get a little roughing on that, I think. To get Nick White or Tyler Gray next year. Oh, it's a legal man downfield. Savvy move from Carson Black, just taking the check down. He's ready for this. He. Just waiting for his moment. Oh, is he going to go in? He is. Man, Carson Black, is he trying to win this job right now? That was a heck of a drive. You love to see it. Yeah, boomy. On second down, he'll fire. Grab behind the line, it's Brown. And good coverage by the defense, just a short game. Up tempo for the We're like high key dominating right now. Out of the gun, the running back has good tackle. He couldn't get close to the marker, got sim the punt so we don't get roughing. <laughs> okay, we got um we got our quarterback back in. I don't know how much we want to give him the ball. Flipping the play. Oh, dude. This could go. Unhook the plow, bro. Yikes. Looked slow there for 90-something speed. And we are just marching down the field. Williams is out there. Nice play. All right, hope you're not too hurt. We're going read option. Probably handing this off to Earl, though. Dude. We're going to win this game 100 to nothing. And I'm not slowing down. We got this is our our hardest game of the year. <laughs> we got to make a statement. If we go 12 and 0 and they're debating do we put Charlotte in the in the playoffs? Beating an SEC team by 70 points is going to be what we hang our hat on, so Oh, oh, man. Good pass rush. Really nice SEC team, yeah. That's in uh, disclaimers. When we when we move around the conferences, it might be time to take uh, Vanderbilt out of the SEC in whatever in whatever new East Coast conference we we create. 
Vanderbilt might be joining us. I could see like turning the Mac into like a fun, fun conference. Get like Rutgers and Maryland in from the from the Big Ten, like UConn, Louisville. Maybe throw like Pittsburgh in there. Vanderbilt and Kentucky from the SEC. Could be fun. All right. Teddy, go. 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 Go outside. Go. Teddy. Come on. Go. Go see mom. She's going to take you outside. Go on. Go. Thank you. All right. Let's keep putting it on him. Everybody's hot. From the shotgun, the inside gives. Got to be smart, patient, great vision. Uses all of that to get to the 20. Go back to this play action. Kind of pick up on first down, and you can take a shot here on second and short. Off the play fake. Hey, good catch, Austin. I'm liking him. He was kind of a underdog to win that starting slot job, but I'm I'm happy we put him in there. He's he's definitely the skill set we need there. Bring App State over, Honk Boy. All right. Someone, one of you guys got to keep a list for me. Vanderbilt, Kentucky, App State. I, I like it. It's going to be a fun conference after we go 12-0 and and win the national championship, of course. Uh, I'm just going to call a screen. Play this one safe. Oh, that was set up, too. We waited just a little bit too long. Uh, I said Rutgers, Louisville. Hit. Syracuse is probably a little bit too far. I was more trying to think of like mid Atlantic, like bring the mid Atlantic conference to like greatness, kind of that. Ohio River area. Ohio River and Appalachian Mountain kind of general area. They'll try to run for it. Oh, he was almost short. Well, they needed two yards to get that first down. That's exactly what they got. Great job of execution. No secret about it. Just got to be physical. Get a hat on a hat. Low man wins. All the cliches to get that third down and short. Gonna try to Damn. Himself. A big scramble. Yeah, Virginia. Virginia would be, be a good one. Yeah, Western Kentucky. We're coming up with a good list. Western Kentucky is not a bad football program. They could hang. Yeah, UConn was one I said. Run it, I dare you. Try to run ah! So we got Louisville, Rutgers, Pitt, Vanderbilt, Kentucky, Maryland, App State, Charlotte, Virginia, Western Kentucky, UConn. Yeah. I like it. How many teams is that? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we need one more. 
bring up the second down pass play. Oh, picked off. Let's go. Let's go. The shutout lives on, baby. Yeah, West Virginia would be a good one. I like it. It's perfect. Oh, that juke, though. Ooh, that juke, though. All right, I'm taking a picture. I'm taking a picture of it so we don't forget in case Lunar or Honk aren't in this. Oh, the button disappeared. There he is again. Oh! Are you kidding me? We made the best decision we've ever made putting Austin in there. Oh, oh man. Dude. This team is sick. Like... I kind of think we could like compete if we went to the playoffs. To the ground with the back. Finds that crease and he's got Like we got we got a legit secondary. Athletes, an offensive line. We got a good pass rusher in Brown here. Here's a quick throw out to the left. He is stopped behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose yards on that one. Third down conversion. Like I'm at the point where I don't think it'd be, like, hyper-unrealistic. Ah, shit. That's going to be a... All right. I got a little aggressive there. I don't think it'd be, like, hyper-unrealistic that this team could hang. We've already established that we can compete last year against Clemson, the year before that against Georgia. But this is the year... Oh. 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 Ah. I'm in love. Play it again. MVP chance. Oh, my God. I love it. We just answer right back. Yeah, they're booing now. They'll run it out of the shotgun. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. That DB had a different story. He had something to say. Coming up, making a physical tackle. Yeah, the Discord is probably the best place to send me that list, but I got a picture of it either way. And a sack. They are booing these guys like nuts. I mean, what are you doing? The Discord is, uh, I have a community Discord server. Uh, let's see if this right at this defense and they're churning out positive yardage early. Uh, it doesn't work. Here's the handoff. They get him down, but he does pick up It's in the link for all of my YouTube videos if you want to join the the TFG community Discord server. If you just go to my last deep dive. Ah, all right, we got to go. Not kicking a 49 yard field goal. Thanks, Honk. Appreciate you. Unload 
Who else? Who else? And you got to throw that quick if you don't want the uh, illegal man downfield. All I know is our next stream is going to be freaking hyped to see if we can go undefeated with this team in a uh, not playing every game type of way. Yeah, dude, the Evan Austin breakout has been sick. Just trying to take good care of the football with our young quarterback. It's going to be a tough play here. That was a big hit. <laughs> that was a big hit. That pass rush definitely was was ready to take it out on us on that one. All right, let's see if we can make this kick. Nice kick. Incomplete. Yeah, I agree, Lunar. There has to be an update to allow us to change numbers. I mean, that's just insane that they don't have that. I'm calling timeout. We're getting this football back, baby. Oh, pick it. We're getting another tutty before half. Throw me a block. Oh my God, is he gonna go? He's easily gonna go. He's gonna, he's gonna walk into the end zone. All right, and then get tackled while walking into the end zone. That was just disgusting. They can't stop him, he's too good. All right, I gotta sim a little bit just because the pizza is getting close here. They're not gonna score before half here. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna play uh, offense. I think the rest of the way. Come on, D. I don't want them putting up a bunch of points. I need this to stay a blowout. Crap, this pizza is gonna be here like any second. And you can forget running in the middle against this defense. Really nice job by the defense playing responsibility football, making sure the quarterback. I might need to pause to go pick up the pizza because I don't want to rush this. I want to enjoy this uh, blowout. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Showing off. Let's go. Dropping deep dimes. What can't this quarterback do? All right. While I go get the uh, pizza here, we're going to just slow play until I get back. So you guys got something to watch.
kick is up and good. And that have been 500. The team is trying to choke, huh? <laughs> it's a big deal today in college football, no doubt. Oh, listen, he's in a rhythm right now. He's in a groove. Just means we got to put up more points. He's been playing on time, and he's been deadly accurate throwing it. Guess what? How do I exit the sim? On third and short, they'll ride the running back here. There we go, D. And maybe he'll get back. There we go. Gotta hop in on fourth and three. Listen, you gotta be worried about the run and the pass. Did a good job. Oh God. What happened to the press coverage there, guys? <laughs> Jeez. Oops, we're still on slow. Nice pitch, nice catch. And listen, maybe this helps next game, right? Like we're trying to find a rhythm, find something that works. Charlotte has a couple guys drafted though they've had grant debose was drafted from the packers they had um um high smith was drafted by the steelers in the third round so they've had some dudes did they they must have put in our backups Hold on. I'm not ready for backups. Oh, Nate Davis was Charlotte? How do you... I guess they just did that automatically for us. I'm not quite ready for that. These we need these reps to be great. Plus they've scored like the last four times they've touched the football, so Oh, good play. Linebacker came all the way around. Man, that was a duck. Come on, Burks. Need you to throw a better ball than that. Oh, let's go. Great play. Rookie running back, Rashard Earl. That's what's up. Oh, Austin breaking tackles. That's right, Honk. Heisman candidate, DeMarco Burks. He definitely passes the name check, that's for sure. It's a great name. Big truck stick. Let's go. There's big play written all over it. Evan Austin, eight catches for 164 yards. One of the best depth chart decisions we've made in our rebuild history looking for a physical attack from the gun defense there to stop him at the 20 let's give him three at least looking like it so far i should say well they're going rpo nice job handing it off and really good vision there just getting what he can get right puts his foot in the ground gets forward helps this offense find positives he's knocked down in the backfield he'll lose a couple it's going to be tough sledding for the offense here. They're trying to ice this game by running the football and leading the clock. They've got a pretty good lead here late in the game, but the defense knows the run's coming, right? So they're going to be loading the line of scrimmage, getting stops like what they just did. 
be interesting to see what the offense does on this next one. Does he like not have throws tight spiral or something? Because he is throwing some lame freaking wobblers out there. Accurate on that one. But uh yikes. <laughs> Take the touchdown though. What a game. Oh, man. Come on. Dude, that was a uh, an absolute dime from that quarterback. <laughs> uh, we got to finish that tackle, though. Woof. Just got to keep scoring points, I guess. Yeah, they were all over that. Nice job by the defense there, getting a stop on the quarterback behind the line of scrimmage. We know they've been burned a few times early in this game by the QB run, but weren't going to let it happen there. On the move, it's Burks. He'll pull it down. Hold that block, baby. Oh, my God, he's gone. <laughs> Dude. Oh, my goodness. Are you kidding me? Look at that. They had him dead to rights. That's the second time he's answered with a big play run. Answered a touchdown with a big play run. 66 uh, points. We got a 66 burger from the 49ers. Yeah, DeMarco Burks for Heisman, baby. Come on, we, we got a tackle out here, guys. Jeremy Bullet out here with 465 yards. Good play, Newman. Their quarterback's a freshman, too. Damn. Another good throw. Yeah, defense is definitely going to have to step up if we're going to win a championship. They started great. Maybe it's just a matter of they're not playing as hard. Garbage time type of deal. Sheesh. All right, let's see if we can milk this clock away. God, it's tempting to just send it too, but. Good run. Speed option is risky, but why not? First down. Max Brown did not get drafted, no. We're going to imagine he was an undrafted pickup. He probably was viewed as someone, oh, that's going to go. That's going to go for Austin. 
Man, another one. Why the hell not? Evan Austin. What a player. But yeah, the NFL probably would have viewed Max Brown as someone that took too many sacks and threw too many interceptions, if we're being honest. Kendall Brown looks like he's 290 pounds, but he is uh, like 220. Nope. Benzinger is a, just a true junior, you guys. He is uh, very much still going. He just didn't get – he's maxed out. He's only a 78 overall. No, Coates. And this defense has put a game together. Like, it is hard to put all the facets of defense together. Run defense, pass defense. They've been so good, man. Dialed in. You could tell they were ready. They were There's ready. a pick. Let's go. Take it back. Oh. All right. Time to knee it out, you guys. Great freaking game. Wow. The old coaching cliche 73 points. So the next stream is going to be hype, you guys. Absolutely hype. Because that was supposed to be our hardest game. We very much could go undefeated. Which, with a win against an SEC team like that, I don't want to get ahead of ourselves, but uh, wow. We still got to count on the Sim Engine with a rookie quarterback, so or a freshman quarterback, so can't count on anything. But uh, excited to find out if we can do it. Let's just advance, see if we lose any recruits or anything. We didn't lose any. Apparently our program tradition got worse. Stadium atmosphere is going up though. Oh, you know it. American player of the week. National player of the week, let's go. In his first ever start. Okay. Okay. Recruiting's looking looking okay. A couple of guys are probably going to miss out on there, but All right, you guys. Hell, yes. What a great stream. Having a blast. Hope you guys are enjoying. You can catch up on TFG plays. Before the next stream, not sure when the next stream is going to be, but just make sure you're following uh, at TFG Plays on Twitter or just have notifications on here on Twitch. And uh, that's all we got. So we'll see y'all later. Peace out.